Former President Trump found guilty on all counts in his hush money trial. NBC's Megan Casella joins us now with more. Good morning. Morning, Joe. So that's right. Former President Donald Trump was found guilty on 34 felony charges related to falsifying his business records. He'll be sentenced on July 11th, and he faces a maximum sentence of up to four years in prison. Now, the verdict came after just about a day and a half of deliberations, and it makes Trump the first former president in U.S. history to be convicted of a crime. In remarks outside the courthouse, Trump maintained his innocence and signaled that this verdict would not slow his campaign for the presidency. This was a rigged, disgraceful trial. The real verdict is going to be November 5th by the people. And they know what happened here and everybody knows what happened here. Now, Trump's campaign immediately started, fun started its fundraising push. It sent its first email for donations within minutes after the verdict was announced. President Biden and his campaign made the same push for donations on X, saying the only way to keep Trump out of the Oval Office is at the ballot box in November. Now, Joe, next week, both campaigns will have fundraisers in Silicon Valley. And as you've noted already this morning, we're already seeing some, some of Trump's most vocal VC supporters speak out about the verdict. Joe? Yes, uh, we're seeing a lot of people speaking out all over the place about uh, this verdict, uh, Megan, and uh, we eagerly await uh, the polls and, and the ultimate poll uh, in about five months. Um, what, a, what, an in what interesting times we live in, Megan.